Bill Alexander often said, you've got to have dark to show light. In this episode, Bill begins with a black canvas and shows us how to create a candle that stands as a beacon of hope. Oh, it looks so sad, isn't it? But watch how I make that canvas happy. So I say red, this kind of a orange, red, right fire into the middle. See, that's where the glow is. And then we go over, over with a bit of a darker red on the outside. Okay, now into the alizarin crimson. See, it gives you a bit darker there all around already. See, out of the light into the dark, all around darker with alizarin crimson. See, that burns. And more alizarin crimson. And more alizarin crimson. And more alizarin crimson. See, I think right now I can darken that down with, uh, with uh, blue. See, and then I got it. I got it. But I want to keep it in a nice red feeling. So, but put lots of paint on. You remember before when we paint with the brush, I always tell you, don't put too much paint on. But this time it is a knife work, and I want to show the knife strokes and the details with the knife, and uh, that makes it quite nice. See, you can fire in that red already on the bottom there. A little in crimson. See how that works together? I got already such a little canvas, but I want to put on lots of paint because I would like to show the knife, the knife strokes on this particular one. So, see, now in order to get more dark, I use blue. See how I can darken that down? I would come in like this underneath the candle. See, and finish it up so this it, this it, then you use the knife later on. Just finish it up so this you. See, darker all around. Good, 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 good. See, now use your knife and start off from the middle because here's the lightest. See, always make sure you have a weapon to clean that up again. See, so I go around, around like this. Oh, that looks already very powerful. See? Come in slowly into the red, or you take the red and you in, come slowly out of that, and, and all of a sudden, see, by having those, those knife strokes, what the power, it, this is so powerful. You can have little strokes, bigger strokes, depends on whatever you want to do. Yeah, I don't want to waste too much time on just fiddling around with, with, the, with the knife strokes, but it has to be done, it's got to be done. Got to be done, got to be done. So clean my knife and fire in. See, this, this could be the light reflection right into the table there. Okay. And then maybe a little bit of red on the side. Okay. Let it disappear into yonder. Maybe a little touch of red here. 
the power of the magic, the, the knife. Good. Maybe we give him one more power stroke right in the middle here. And you can even go so far, a touch of yellow. See? A touch of yellow there. Okay. Fire off. White, a touch of, I always hide my palette. I wish you would holler and say, show me your palette. See, I mix that for my candle. And I would say the candle will stand. See, here, that, that's why I put the flame on. And the candle will be here. Isn't that nice? How fast you can get it all in. That's what makes it so nice. See? Make it so that the, this, the, the wax is running down and make it darker, 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 darker. See? Let the let the top glow and let it be darker on the bottom. Maybe I use a bit of yellow and white and mix it here. Yellow and white. See, and now it has really powerful thing that uh, that's where the flame is on top. And oh God, it has to be powerful. It has to burn there. And yeah, let it get darker, darker. That's good. See, and then you put the flame on. Put, put the flame on top. See, that's that little bump. I will. We work on that later on. I leave it just like that. Now I will put a kind of a big round, uh, like a plate that makes it nice and have it. Have it so. What, what, what I dream here is uh, that little candlelight is this copper or it's brass. And I like to bring that brass out by let that light, that little dark light, bring some sparks into that. Bring some sparks into that. See, see how it comes, it comes nice. See, now I go from the other side. I use uh, like that, like that, like that. Maybe a little bit of red and I create that rim. Create that rim. See? Ah, it's coming good. Coming good. Maybe a touch of red and a little bit crimson. Yeah, make it nice around. Now you really make sure you have it nice even on both sides. So I have to balance a little bit. 
this side needs a bit higher. And it's nice you can do it all with that with that knife. <coughs> then the flame it draws a little shadow here, but the rest will be all nice light up all around. So there we have to work with light. We, that will be on the inside, but nothing on the outside. Because that light is lying right in there. See? Now we are coming quite good. Now we have to put that little rim on here. Sometimes you have to fiddle a little bit, but that's the game you play. See, I want to do it with my knife. And sometimes you can make portraits with your knife. I have seen some guys, they make fantastic portraits. But see, keep it darker here because that is round that goes on the inside and that comes up like a little uh, saucer, you know? See? And you can, you can use, even if you use that other little knife with the round curve, you can easily have the round edges there, you see, under control. There you are. That's sometimes you have to fiddle a little bit, but that's fine. That's fine. See? Now we will, we will, we will, we will try to get the spark in there. I will use that kind of a swing. See, yellow and red and, and white, and I will have, oh, powerful. <laughs> Lots of spark. Think that little flame hits that copper or that uh, brass, whatever it should be there, and that really starts. With a reddish, a reddish tune. Oh, that doesn't look bad at all. See, and then you can do that on the other side, on the other side, white, yellow. See, and you mix yourself a kind of a powerful, powerful medicine, and oh, and then when you, when you finish it up, you say ah. Oh, Oh, e. <clears throat> good, let it vibrate, let it get powerful, powerful. One more stroke here, it's got to be a powerful stroke. Not every time you get it, but you have to aim for the best stroke you can get, again. Let's pull in that candle now. The, what we do, I show you. I show you. We use that candle and pull it into the inside all of a sudden. See? See how the candle starts getting into that little thing? You can have a build up there, but you can have it just like a little rim where the, where the candle is stuck. I don't want to make it too light. See, let, let it be dark there. And very bright on top, very bright on top. Even a bit more dark, a bit more dark there. 
then that gives you more power. The candle has far more power. And when you then candlelight, try to see yourself going into a restaurant where they have a candlelight uh, dinners. You know, when you walk in, you have to stay there first a while. And, uh, and your eyes get used, you hear noise, but you don't see anyone. And all of a sudden, you see people. With other words, what I want to tell you, that is that little bit of light. And we have to bring so much power out with that little bit of light. See, and that's what I want to show you. It is that little flame, but you know, here I try to create a kind of a, a, a rim, kind of a rim there, right, kind of a rim there. See, if you want to, no, this is a candle where you don't have, sometimes there's, you know, they don't run. But we say in this case, this candle created wax. Now I will show you the other way around. So some candles, they are not running. And this particular candle does run, and I will plaster in wax in that vase there now. See, I will show you how we do that. See, there's one wax. Now we can use the smaller, the smaller knife now, and we we will we will we will give them this kind of a medicine. See. Let it be dark again. This for the light will fall down. You can have that lighter there. <clears throat> See? And maybe all the blob is right here behind. And let it just go up or come down, whatever you want. See? There you are. See? That is the way you do it. We will give him a little bit more blub. That's good. See? How nice that looks. See? No, you, you, you. This is so dark underneath, so you have to uh, watch. Upstrokes, 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 upstrokes. You see? Upstrokes. Let it disappear into yonder. It's a nice upstroke. That's a nice one. Give that flame a little bit more character. Maybe a bit more bigger. I start off rather smaller than too big because it's easy to make such a big uh, flame and then you can get it smaller. It's hard to make it smaller. Put a little bit of a wig on there. See, now we have that. And now you, 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 give him that almighty, that almighty light. Oh, start there. See, that's, that's what gives you that almighty power. Now a bit of an upstroke. I'd rather pull it in there. See, now I can handle that. With a clean knife, you'd rather make a downstroke. See? With a clean knife, you'd rather make a downstroke. 
See? Now you can make like you think it is like water and it starts Hey, oh, use that power. Use that almighty power. Bit more red into that. Bit more red into that. And sometimes this round, see this round, uh, bit of a round curve that looks like it's lying there. Then I will use again middle, into the middle, a bit more yellow. You think the, the middle is what gives you the power of light. See, and I have to bring that out as much as possible. Here too. Here too. Isn't it wonderful how you can create so much power on the canvas? And that's the almighty difference between, um, between uh, the brush and, and, and the knife. Now, you step back, and I see my candle is a bit crooked. See, it has that crooked, because when you're so close, you never see it straight. So I have to add a little bit. So I add that so in order to make it straight. See, but otherwise, you, the way you saw the whole thing, it is uh, it's light on top and dark on the bottom. And that is what makes you so such a powerful painting. See here, maybe we have one more, one more run, and that's it. That's it. Good. Did you like it? You know, it is exciting when you think with a couple little strokes, you can put so much power in, and especially with the magic knife. You know, I, I, I would say if I want to make power on a canvas, I use the knife because there's the flat, the flat strokes. See, a brush has little lines. The flat strokes give you the shine, and that makes it so nice. You liked it? I love you. I see you again. Bye-bye. <laughs>